What the heck is happening to this mangrove snake egg? That is so bizarre. It's like blistered out. Those two look good though, still. Those two, not so much. But they're due to hatch any day. Oh my gosh, and I just realized those used to be green. Where did the yellow pigment go? Why is it just blue now? That's so strange. What is going on with these eggs? Okay, babies. Baby check. Been a couple days. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. The mangroves are hatching. Mangrove babies. <laughs> okay, Ed's here too. Oh wow. Look I can see his little face. Look at his face. Aww. Oh my gosh, that was the egg that was like blowing up. I was up. expecting that one just to be dead. Yeah, I Here, didn't I'm think. Close this. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Other eggs. Oh, look oh. at him. Oh. Think he's feisty? I bet he oh, is. His big eyes. You have big googly eyes, dude. Hey, dude. Hi, welcome to the world. Are you gonna bite while you're still in the egg? It'd be funny. Oh <laughs> my gosh. You're so cute! Okay, so I guess tomorrow we're gonna cut those. Yeah. Okay, we might actually cut these tonight because these are pretty thick shells. Yeah. And I think he got out just because it was such a thin shell since it was expanding. You can see here that the shell actually, the, the calcium part actually separated from the internal Whoa, membrane. Yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. So his did the same thing, it just expanded. And then he was able to cut through the oh membrane gosh. only. So I think these guys might be stuck. Should we just cut them now? Good. Let's cut them now, actually, just so we don't risk anything. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at his face. We'll have better lighting out there, too. Baby boigas! Baby mangroves! Oh my gosh! Look at this! Our first ever baby mangrove snakes that we've bred! And he doesn't want to come out. Nope. This is so weird. These are the eggs that, remember, it was the spicy pepper clutch? Oh yeah, so the, the colors actually changed? They did, yeah. All they... the blues, all the reds turned blue? Yeah, super weird. The orange still hatched. I mean, that was the first two hatch. Yeah. And yeah, let's take a look. What were the colors that didn't hatch? Do you remember? Well, there was a fan that reached out to us, and they marked down the entire hatch rate for all the different colors of Sharpies we had used in last year's hatch or last year's clutches, and they discovered that none of the eggs that had orange pigment had hatched. Well, we I, have a new one. Yep, I think it was just a coincidence. <laughs> I think it is too. We're gonna be testing that further this year, so stay tuned for an actual test to see if the color affects the hatching success rate of the egg. We have uh, an experiment planned for yes. later on for breeding season. It's also very small scale, so you yeah, can't yeah. Uh, you go, oh, this is gonna be the end all be all, so. Yeah. Eh, we'll see, <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, uh, I guess, cut open these two remaining eggs. I'm assuming these are bad. And Should we? Any squish at all to them? Uh, oh, actually, this is. one does have a little bit of squish. Maybe I'll cut these two open first just to kind of get them out of the way. You open them first. Well, they have to be in here. I don't, oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> like they're gonna be smelly, you mean? Yeah. I have a feeling these just went bad. I want the excitingness of, yeah, it's like solid underneath. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's not Very a, squish. Ooh. not a good egg. How about this one? <laughs> I feel like this isn't a good egg either. It's squishy. It's a little squishy. Not as squishy as it should be, though, in my opinion. Don't stab yourself. I'll try not to. I learned today that boiga eggs are really tough. Yeah. Very I calcified. Didn't know that until today. That's crazy. Yeah, that's got, I can see that. Ugh, yeah, there's like. It's all hard. Yeah, is there at least a developed baby in there? Or like a partially developed baby? Sometimes your uh, investigation techniques go a little too far. Well, I know there isn't a baby in there. Now I'm just curious. There is, ugh, like nothing. Just a bunch of goop that's hardened. Yep, just some goop. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna toss these quick yeah, and then come wash back. Wash your hands and wash the blade. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're back. The bad eggs are gone, so now we get to focus on hopefully two healthy, beautiful babies. Let's start with uh, let's do this one. Let's do the twin that's attached. I'm gonna try to pick them up together <laughs> here. You just get to come with baby mangrove. We're gonna slice open the egg. Oh man. Yeah, that's why I think it's good that we're cutting these. Yeah, especially since we weren't here yesterday, so he may have pipped yesterday. Yesterday was their due date. Oh, was it? Yep. Okay, then, yeah, this is, Ooh, oh! Good looking good fluid. Lo yep, okay, that's not a bad color. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's no way a baby would be able to slice this open. How I wonder if that means she has overly active calcium, or if they are supposed to just get out of these really tough eggs. I don't know, maybe they're supposed to blister open like the one did? Maybe. And that's how they get out? Oh! I see a baby in there. Do you? Uh, I can't really see anything. I see bubbles. Yeah, there's some bubbles. Let me make it a little bit bigger because there's no way he's going to be able to get that hole bigger himself. So I'm going to make sure it's a large enough hole for him to escape out of. There we go. That should do the trick. Can we see more of a baby? All I see is the fluid on the inside. But I, well, I see a baby underneath it too. Okay. Okay, there is what looks like a healthy baby in there. 
Okay. And now the big egg. Man, another super hard shell. And really interesting that the yellow pigment got absorbed or some... Was it yellow or red? I think this was green. Wasn't that a jalapeno? Oh, maybe. I thought it was red. But yeah, that would make sense. So yeah, the yellows yeah. just got absorbed. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. And the last egg. Hopefully a good baby. Three, two, one. Oh, I see, I see fluid. Yeah, I see fluid and blackness. I believe there's a baby in there. Do you have your flashlight on you? I still just see blackness in there. Yeah, it's all dark. I mean, there's a snake in there, but it's weird that I don't see any stripes because they have yellow bands Plus down their body. Just belly. Maybe, yeah. All right, well, we're going to just wait it out and check in on them tomorrow, I guess, and see if they decide, decide to start coming out and saying hi. Checking on Mangro. Look what I have. Oh my gosh. What's out? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at his big goofy eyeballs. He's so tiny. Oh my god. Yeah, he has googly eyes. Look at his little yellow stripes too. They're like red in the back. Really? Like like in here, they turn like a reddish color. Oh, look at that. There he is. Oh, you're so cute. Let me see. Look at that beautiful yellow jaw too. Oh my gosh. Is he the only one out right now? Yes. Yeah, he's the only one. <gasps> oh, yeah. But it does look like that one's trying to come out and there's bubbles there, spit Ooh, bubbles. Oh, that's a good sign. So. That means we're alive. All right, we'll give them a day for those two to come out. Here, go encourage your siblings yeah. to come out of the egg. Look how slender that is. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's see. Any bubbles? Any face? Do you want face? to come out? I see a little bit of yellow. Yeah. Okay. All right, never mind. All right, we'll check tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's been another day. Day three. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, there's more than one out. Oh, I see a blob. Uh, there's two. Oh, wait, three? No, two? there's still one in here. Still one in there. Okay. Yep, there's still, oh, his nose is coming out. Oh, good. He's alive. That's his nose. Oh, I see his little face kind of on camera. Okay, he is in there. And there's two that are out. Wait. Oh, my gosh. Look at how red that one yeah, is. Yeah, that one has oh, the, Did you just have a little toad. <laughs> oh, wow. He does have an attitude. Look at his little tail go. They tail rattle. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know they tail rattled. And apparently they strike. Come here. And apparently they have here. no... You're so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, we're angry. Did you just open your mouth at me? Angry mangrove? Oh, we're going to tail rattle in the air and we're a little wobbly because we're so little. Oh, okay. I'll put you back. Here you go. You stay there. We'll check on you tomorrow when hopefully your last sibling is out. All right. Babies, I think, are all out of the eggs. I see, I think, three blobs worth of babies. Okay, okay, let's look, let's look. Are they all out? One, two, three, they are! Wow, that one's more oh. chocolate color. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know if you can see that on camera. You're right, though. Is this the, this one's a little bit smaller. Is this, I think. the one? Yeah, this was the first one to come out, which looks to be a that bit was smaller. The one from the, the bubble one. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Oh, we'll see. He looks, I mean, do you have any kinks? They they look naturally kinky because they're just such slender bodied snakes. But I wonder if, do you have any actual kinks? No, no actual kinks. We're just little and a little bit chocolatier yeah. than, uh, than the black colors. Are but, any of them sassy? Oh, like, I wonder. Like, hi. Why, yeah, why are you so subdued right now? Yeah, are you guys okay? You sleeping? You're not acting like normal mangroves as far as I'm getting, aware. Are you doing your baby sleeps? Oh, baby sleeps. They have such big eyeballs. Yeah, they do. It's so crazy. And like big blocky heads compared to their slender bodies. Why are you so friendly? Yeah. Why are they not snapping at all? Aww. Hello. Hi, cute little mangrove. Do you guys still have your egg teeth? Uh, this one does. It does it? There's yeah. no way I'm going to be able to focus on it. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'll get really close. Oh, God. Focus on Emily's hand. Yeah, good luck. Our camera yeah, is not no good at focusing. Gonna... Well, it's this no. lens. Oh, sure. <laughs> All right, so these guys, these two, these two bigger ones look really healthy to me. Yeah, they do. So there is that at least. It's interesting how one has more noticeable stripes than the other, and that one has such orange stripes. Yeah. Wow, they are so pretty. And they're, why are you nice? Yeah. I don't understand this. Look at how cute he is. Yeah. He's just like, whatever. What? Maybe it's like the boas. When they have their first shed. Maybe that's when they turn angry. <laughs> yeah, because those Argentines that. are so, like, cantankerous now yes. after they've shed. Maybe these will be the same thing, the same yeah. way. They're so cute, though. Oh. I, I, do you think their stripes are going to, like, go up and around the back? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, do you think the stripes change as they grow? 
I would have they're, to maybe think. They're very subtle right now, but their the, parents have the such parents. striking bands around their bodies. It is all the way around, right? It's uh, not just on their sides? Yeah, yeah. It's mostly on the sides, and they kind of taper near the top, but okay. they're still more noticeable than in these babies. So I wonder if that will change with age. They do have, like, the, the yellow underjaw, though. They're so pretty. Yeah. What a striking contrast between the yellow, or in that one's case, orange, and the black. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and here's our they little runt. Yes, they're so cute. Oh, they found each other. They did. We're they... trading. Yeah, I guess. All right, you have that baby. I'll take this baby. <laughs> Make sure to give him a good home. <laughs> or whatever they say in Pokemon. That's Maybe right. Trade. Here we go. Take oh. good care of him. Yeah, take good care of him. Here, trade. <laughs> Aw, hey little dude. Well, How are you? What's the plan for these next? I mean, the first, I guess the next challenge, first challenge with the babies was getting them to hatch. We had three hatch. <laughs> True. Two, so check, got that. Got the second hatched. Second challenge. Oh, they're escaping. Feed. Yeah, that's the next challenge is getting them to feed. These are notoriously picky eaters in captivity because they like to eat birds in the wild. Yep. So their parents only eat frozen thawed chicks for us. So I think these guys, I mean, if we're lucky, maybe we'll get them on unscented frozen thawed pinkies right away. Yeah, that'd that, be nice. That'd be ideal. If not, we might have to try chick scented pinkies. Chick scented or yolk scented. Or yolk scented. We could try that too. Yeah. But with how agile these are, I mean, look at how slender they are, how long they are. This is indicative of a tree dwelling snake. And sure enough, mangroves live, well, in mangroves. They need to navigate in between the mangrove roots. They live up in the branches. Michael, and... you can put up a, like, a spot of mangroves like right here yeah. to show what people know what mangroves are. Perfect. And because of that environment, they eat a lot of birds too. So that's why in captivity, it can be tricky to get them on rodents. But we're going to try our best. We'll have our the best shot with captive bred babies and just starting them right away on rodents. So yes. We'll see what happens. Should we set up their baby bins? Sure. Okay. All right. For these babies, since they are semi-arboreal, we chose or found our deepest baby bins. And this is from an older rack that we aren't, we weren't planning on using this year, but I think no. it's going to work best for these guys. They need the depth. They also have the smallest gap. Yes, that top, too. So. And since they're such skinny snakes, I mean, these bins have prov been proven to us to be garter snake baby proof. Yeah. So if they're garter proof, they've got to be mangrove proof. And the extra height here or depth will allow them some climbing uh, abilities. Yep. So what we're going to do to also encourage those climbing abilities is add a vine to all of these. So we've kind of scrunched up some vine options here. We'll stick one there. You have to provide a spot for the water dish too. That's true, yeah. Right in this water dish right there. Setting that up. Watch that one here. And if I can, I can sneak this in before Emily gets taken care of. Yeah. There. Nice. There, that'll work. Yeah. So now they can, they have a place to hide if they want to in the back, but they'll also have the opportunity to climb around on these vines. Yep. So I think, I think they'll appreciate that. I guess we'll see how they utilize the space. Uh, but yeah, that's, there we go. I, I'm actually going to test that out right away by placing a baby in here. And I just want to see how it navigates these vines. Are you going to climb around on them pretty well? Or are you just going to escape right away? Yep. Yeah, that's what we're actually going to do. No, dude, you have to stay in the bin. Stay in the bin. Maybe the small one will be the good child. Here. It might be. I mean, there you go. that one definitely seems uh, differently abled. Yeah, that one doesn't seem as agile as the no. others. It doesn't hold its body up as well. So that one might not thrive, but I'm pretty sure these two yeah, will. these two seem perfectly healthy. Yeah, they do. They both want to escape they do. all the time. Uh, I will say Ed wants to probably keep one of these. Yep. So one of these healthy ones, uh, I'm just going to assume this one isn't going to make it because I don't want to get hopes up. So if that one doesn't make it, between these two, we'll probably keep one of them. And then yep. the other one, I think think Maddie, with like Tyler and Maddie, they've come here to do the enclosure build off several times. I think she's interested in the other one. Is she first on the list though? I think she is. Okay. I'll have to check. I'm pretty sure right. she's first on the list though. Because we can't give favoritism to That's just true. YouTubers because they're YouTubers. That's true. I will double check the waiting list to make sure uh, there's nobody else ahead of her. But yeah, I think these might go to somebody that you guys know actually. Yeah. Does this one go under the... the Water dish already? Yes, that one is go under Aww. the water dish. He needs the shed. He can't yeah, look like, oh. Can you go on the warm end for us? <laughs> Not on the cold end. Yeah, we'll see how that one does. Yeah. All right. Well, we officially have... Private mangroves! Baby mangroves! 
those baby boigas. Oh my gosh, we bred them, guys. We have baby Captain Born and bred baby mangrove snakes. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe we made these. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. Let us know which baby from this video is your favorite, the one with yellow stripes, the one with more of an orange stripe pattern, or the runt. Or the, the brown one. The brown one, yeah. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. And baby mangroves! <laughs> baby mangroves! Oh, he blends right into the table. He's also sticking his tongue out right now. Is he? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Aww.